poor a disabled child. They may think it is a burden, that's one, shame. So in my community, people tend to hide the disabled children. If a visitor was to come in, this chair is supposed to be hidden away from the visitors. Politically, I, in my country, if you stood for a post, like you wanted to become maybe MP, that's member of parliament, people look at you like you don't understand what you're saying, you don't understand what you're doing, you have a shallow mind, you may not represent them at the parliament. So they will underlook at they will underlook at you. They will not take in your views. However much you try to convince them. And if you are to convince them, you have to convince them more than any other person would do that. You have to talk and talk and plead than any other person would do. We had a nice convening with the use of disabilities, which was so exciting inspiring and it has helped us develop a lot of skills. We have learned monitoring by ourselves in our own countries. We have learned how to approach stakeholders and different stakeholders in our countries. We have also learned debate. And for me, I'm a Young Voice member. And what we normally do, we do campaign and advocacy on the rights of disabilities. And one of the activities we do in our campaign, we do debate. So they've taught us debating skills, which I'm going to implement. We have learned how to talk for ourselves. We have learned how to fight for our own rights. And we have learned how to monitor which activities are being carried out in our own countries. The budget, how we can be included in our own country's budget. A lot of things. It has inspired us. We have grown strong voices. So we are going back in our countries happily, which has been very good.